Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4 with me, Nintenkid. We are sitting here at the mission that we failed last time because I stupidly ran off the roof like a moron. Uh, but this time, we are going to do this correctly. I'm actually going to probably use the shotgun the entire time to make it a little easier. And then I'm hopefully not going to run off the roof so we can actually pass it. And that would be very nice. But this is a cool mission. I like these action missions. They're so action-packed. I... They just, they're so much fun to play. I'm, I'm going to skip this scene, though, since we already watched it, and try to save some time here. So, I should probably use this thing, since we're kind of long range right there. Actually, you know what? I could use this the entire time. I got over a thousand rounds in it. Alright. Um, get against this wall here. And there we go. Perfect. I think, actually, we can clear out some of it by going in here. And peeking around this corner. Because I think the SWAT team is going to be over here. No? No? Surprise attack! Where's the other one? There you are, buddy! Peekaboo! Alright, good job. Alright, now I'm going to take out the shotgun. Because these guys, the next ones I know are close ranged. Especially this asshole. Yeah, you're done. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Alright, now there's another one here. I gotta get this guy. Yep, I bet it did. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. You didn't die that time like last time. Oh god, more. Shoot. Alright, those two are done. They said they're yelling how it hurts. Yeah, well, I would assume getting shot hurts bad. Alright, there's one down. Got some health right here. That's good, that's good. Come on, buddy. Alright. Oh, good. We don't have to jump. Oh, shoot! Jesus, this is intense. This is, a, this is probably the biggest shootout we've had. Alright, where's... You know, I'm running back for that health because I, I am not taking the chance of dying on this again. If it's still here. Shoot, it's gone. Dang it. Oh well, we still we're still in the green, so I guess it's not that bad. As long as I just don't. Oh, body armor right here, duh. Nice. Now we're set. Yeah, you're done. Oh great. Yeah, let's go, dude. I'm working on it, buddy. We're kind of getting popped up the butt here by these cops. All right, there's no one in here. Actually, I think we just got to sprint out. Yeah, they're still in here. That's uh, that's for sure. Any more? Any more? I repeat, any more. Because you guys are going to get socked pretty hard. I would not want to be around this corner if I were somebody. Oh, man. I know somebody's going to be down here. Sure enough. Done. Yeah, well, that's what you get for messing with us. Oh, there's a motorcycle. Let's take this thing. This will help. Get on this. Come on, buddy. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, we de- Okay, I'm gonna zoom past this one. Uh... Shoot, I have no idea where to even go right now. We gotta get to the expressway is what we need to do. And here's our ticket. I don't wanna die. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot, they're on the expressway. They're on the expressway. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No, they caught us. Dang it. 
I wanted the stars to drop so badly right there. All right. Um, where are we going to? Are we going towards the airport? I don't even know. Yeah, I think we are. Okay. No. Let's go this way. He won't see us. They won't see us here. That's good. No, you spotted us too? Come on. Ah, uh, I might need to get into a car. Oh, wait, no, right here. We look good. We look good. Just camp out right here for a bit. They won't see us under here, especially if I turn off the headlights. Shit, man. All right, we got it. Instead of being caught Gosh. By you take a bed on a heroin beef, you ain't seeing light for a long time. You riding up in that shit, yeah? Future in the max security pen ain't no future at all. You forget about uh, how I get out of that here. Sort of time. And if your friends on the inside, my man's Dwayne Forge is inside on a crack beef. He showed me some shit back in the day, but shit. when he gets out, if he ever does, oh cool, there's a tunnel the here. World. Ah, uh, it's just a temp. Shit change. There'll be more to it than a crack tip nowadays. There'll be the smack tip, the rap game, cats, chronic, meth, shit. I'm looking into expanding my horizons. Yeah? Show. Sure. Reach for the stars and all that shit. I don't see why a young kid from the hood can't make something out of himself. Street cats like me just get labeled as pimps and pushers and stick up artists. But you are a drug pusher. That's just what I'm doing to get out of the ghetto. I don't see it as dealing drugs. Drugs is just one arm of my business. I'm buying and selling that shit like any commodity on the trading floor. Only this commodity is illegal. Yeah, but Playboy is going legitimate. Now, I want to be one of them developer cats. Build me some skyscrapers, see my name in big gold letters. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you would want to build schools or something. Help young black men get out of the ghetto. Shit, that'll come. Gotta get me successful first. Well, he's got a good idea, but it probably won't happen. Oh, traffic jam. Yeah, that's a huge traffic jam. What the heck are we doing in mainstream New York right now? Like, this is the main street. Oh, crap. This could be bad. Oh, God, that was close. That was close. We almost just... I almost literally probably killed us right there. Oh, another scary intersection? Okay, good. Alright. Left turn. Where are we even going, though? I just, like... I don't recognize... This is Central Park. Okay. Get through this gate here. Make a right. Alright, now where to? Road splits up here. Oh, we gotta go left now. Why are they going if it's a green on our side? That doesn't make any sense. Just got green. Come on, make the turn. This bike is ridiculously fun to drive on these roads, though. It's so fun to weave in and out of the traffic. I love it so much. Alright, looks like we're here. Uh, I'll let this guy go in front of me. Oh! Too early. Okay. Here we are. Here we be, money. I'll hit you up when I need your ass. Alright, bro. Sounds good. Alright, so we got Playboy X now as a uh, new buddy to do some missions for. I'm going to actually head over to Brucey because we haven't seen him in a long time. We haven't seen him since we basically got ran out of town by Dimitri and his scums. Oh, this is smart. Driving a motorcycle while talking on the phone. Things didn't go so good. The contact was... Alright guys, well, in the meantime, let's do a little vlogging. So, let's see, the past couple of days have been nuts. Um, in terms of just like doing it oh shit no oh my god what the heck that's what happens when you talk on the phone man that was insane holy cow <laughs> oh poof i was having so much fun on my motorcycle all right anyways oh shoot i just realized something dang it 
This microphone sensitivity is going to be way too high. Shoot. I got to cut that. Yeah, I'm going to have to really mute it down. Anyways, um... <laughs> what I was trying to say was these last couple of days have been odd just in terms of what I had to do. Like, um... Was it Sunday night? Yes. Now we got Roman calling. I got the insurance money for the cab depot burning down. This stupid bastard... Maybe it was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. I put the money into another cab depot. Bellic Enterprises is up and running again. Next stop, floating on the bar pack. I'll give you shares, NB. Later on. Alright, so as I was saying, yeah, Sunday night I actually had to go pick my sister up at the airport. And uh, it was like 10 o'clock. Her flight got in at like 11.30. It was so delayed. But I was like, I so wanted to vlog, and I was so pissed I didn't bring my camera. And then I realized I could have just used my iPhone afterwards. I was so mad, because I have not made a vlog on my vlog channel since last October. That's how long it's been, seriously. Like, what have I been doing? And then today, Monday was typical. I went to work. It was boring. But today I stayed home. Crap. Oh, God. I got to get out of here. Anyways, I can't... Today I went over to my grandma's to uh, help her out with some stuff. She's getting ready for, like, a garage sale. Can I plow through this? Great. I can't. Alright, let's jump over it. But yeah, I had to go over to her house to help her with, like, a, get some stuff out for a garage sale. And that just... Oh, God! Am I trying to kill myself? Like, what the heck? Oh, this does not look like a good one. Oh, a dirt bike! Yes! But anyway, so I was at my grandma's house, and it was, it was really crazy. Like, she had all this cool stuff that she's getting rid of for a garage sale. And then, um, I was trying to help her get a record player that she had working so she could listen to some old tapes. Which actually happened to be, like, crazy old Polish and German, um, record players. Did I say old tapes? I meant old records. She had all these German and Polish records. They were pretty cool. So we got that going, and then uh, I got to see a lot of these pictures that she hasn't taken out in a while from when she was still in Germany and after the war ended, so it was really neat to see all that stuff. I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to see if I can steal these helicopters that are normally located over here and just fly to my next spot, and it looks like I can. Um, but as I was saying about my microphone, I actually had to turn up the sensitivity the other day. Ah, uh, Michelle's calling, hold on. Do you two know each other? Elisabetta seems to have a lot of friends. That's because she's a dealer, Nico. Junkies like the people who supply them with drugs. You aren't getting involved in that world, are you? I'm trying to avoid it, Michelle. Maybe I do a few errands for Elisabetta. Nothing serious, though. I am no dealer. Do you need help with anything, Nico? Just speak to me. If you want to get something off your chest, I'm a good listener, you know? I know, Michelle. I really appreciate your concern, but, uh... I can look after myself. I'm a big boy, and I must make my own decisions. See you soon. Yeah, Nico. See you soon. Alright, so my microphone sensitivity, I had it up because my cousin and I tried doing a dual com on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So I'm going to have to really turn these down. Am I just going to fly with this thing's doors open? Guess so. So I think this is the first time I've ever flown the helicopter in this game. For the LP. Yeah, it is. I never, I don't really fly them that often unless I'm playing multiplayer. Because then I just find it way more fun. But they're a lot of fun to go really fast and then drop out of. That's the, like the best thing to do in this game. A lot of this stuff I've never actually like seen in detail because when I do fly around in this, it's always at night and that's where I needed to go. Alright, Brucey, where you at, buddy? Little Jacob's calling now. Alright, so little Jacob doesn't mind that we're doing business. I guess that's cool. He seems to know the people pretty well. Well, it's convenient. There's a helipad right here by Brucey's. Could that be any better? No. As long as I don't fall off and die. 
But yeah, so we did a dual comm, and I actually had to turn up the microphone sensitivity to pick us up, because we were just having the microphone in between us. It didn't turn out that well, but I still might just post it for fun. I was thinking of splitting it, because it's about 40 minutes, and I think I'm just going to post the entire thing, since it's not as good as I thought it would be, so... Oh well. Can I knock it down from here? What the heck? Alright, that worked. I bet there's no way to get back up to there, but whatever. Okay, guys, well, we are short on time here. I'm going to go ahead and start Brucey's mission in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you guys next time in Grand Theft Auto 4. Peace out.